Welcome to this quick e-learning tip on how to complete part one of the New York State High School Regents Examination Answer Sheet. My name is Ms. Allegro and I will be your instructor. This information does not apply to the written booklet. The answer sheet for part one of the Regents is new this year, so it's important that you follow the instructions you are about to learn. The biggest change to part one of your Regents exams is that teachers will no longer be scoring your exam. Your answer sheet will be electronically scanned using a machine similar to the one in the picture. Here's what's important and you need to remember when completing the answer sheet. You must use a blue or black ink pen, no pencils. Do not put any stray marks on the answer sheet. Do not put any marks on the barcodes. Do not doodle anywhere on the answer sheet. If you fail to follow these simple rules, your answer sheet will be rejected by the scanner and requires special handling. This will slow down the scoring process. Let's get started. This part will be pre-printed with your personal information. Check to make sure that the information is correct, and if it's not correct, raise your hand and a proctor will assist you. When recording your answers, you must completely shade the circle. To change an answer, put an X through your incorrect choice and fill in your new choice. Remember, to change an answer, put an X through your wrong choice and fill in your new choice. To change your answer more than one time, put an X through your wrong choices and fill in the circle for your new choice, as shown on question 5. Also, don't leave any blanks. If you don't know an answer, take your best guess. If you don't have a best guess, just fill in any circle. As long as the answer box is complete, you have a chance of getting the answer correct. When you have completed part one, read the declaration and sign your name on the signature line. Okay, let's review these simple instructions. You must use a blue or black ink pen, no stray marks on the answer sheet, no stray marks on the barcodes, do not doodle anywhere on the answer sheet, completely fill in the circle with your answer, to change an answer place an X over the incorrect answer and record your new answer, and finally, sign the declaration when you've completed the exam. That's it. That's all there is to it. Study hard and good luck on your exams. Thanks for watching and listening.